Well, here we go again. All right, joking aside, uh, I'm really excited about this video. Today we're gonna be checking out a new 10440. Um, I got, uh, I think it's called Demon Fire and it claims to be a protected cell with 600 milliamp hour capacity. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we have tested these PK cell 10440s, 350 milliamp hour batteries in the i3T. And um, this light's able to handle 10440s pretty well, it seems, even though they're not recommended by Olight. And we did some runtime testing on this light, and in a nutshell, we learned that, I mean, I did very limited testing, but on the high setting, the i3T is able to run a 10440 for a, right around exactly 20 minutes or so. And it's able to, to run one on the low setting for right about three hours. So uh, with, a, with more capacity going up from 350 to six, I'm hoping we can extend those run times out a bit more. So yeah, I'm excited to get these open. Um, this is, like I said, a Demon Fire, kind of a intense name, but you know, whatever. Yeah, batteries here. Looks like we get a little case, some foam. And here's those new cells. Let's check it out. Yeah, 14440. So same voltage as the PK cell, 3.7. 600 milliamp hour capacity this time, or at least that's what's claimed. And it does claim to be protected as well. Protected, rechargeable battery. So yeah, I'm excited to test this thing out. If it's as good as it claims to be, that could be a could be a new uh, candidate as far as a battery for the i3T, um, in my book anyway. So let's check this out. All right, the batteries are charged up. We're getting ready to go here. Basically, the plan is gonna be to do a side-by-side -side runtime comparison between the PK Cell 10440 and the Demon Fire 10440. Um, the pink i3T is gonna have the PK Cell inside and this brown i3T is gonna have the demon fire. And um, kind of like usual, I'm just gonna do a time lapse, borrow the office clock again. We'll set that to 12 o'clock and run a time lapse to see just how long these two um, lights can run on the low setting. So in the past, we got three hours with the PK cell. So I'm expecting about that same uh, run time this time around. And this is unknown. So. We do have 250 extra milliamp hour capacity according to um, the claim on the battery. So basically if we do a little bit of cross multiplying and dividing, um, my guess is, you know, just based on the math that I'm hoping we can get, instead of three hours on the low setting with the PK cell battery, I'm thinking we're gonna get around five hours, maybe a, a hair over five hours with this demon fire cell. So. That is my hope anyway, but in the end, any improvement in runtime is gonna be a win in my book. Not to mention the fact that these Demon Fire batteries claim to be protected. So that means if they're over discharged, hopefully they won't get permanently damaged. I mean, my poor PK cells, because of these tests, I pretty much run them completely empty. So I'm, I'm guessing I have permanently damaged um, some of the capacity just by doing these crazy tests where we take it all the way down. Um, ideally, I'd take better care of the cells, but hey, you know what? <laughs> for for all of our learning, I think it's kind of worth it to sacrifice one or two of these babies. But yeah, let's um, let's queue up the runtime footage, just see how well we do. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to um, pause and put your guess, will the Demon Fire cell make it to five hours or lower or higher or what, what you think? Um, you, you can do that if you like, but otherwise sit back, relax, enjoy, and we'll see what happens. All right, test complete. 
So what did we learn? Um, basically from the PK cell, starting out with the PK cell, we got very similar runtime to the first time we did this test, uh, maybe 10 minutes less or so. Um, and I, I chalk that up to the fact that I probably damaged this battery permanently by taking it uh, to the bottom, uh, maybe one or two times before this. But yeah, right around three hours, which is what we got the last time we tried this. So yeah, not too much of a surprise there. Um, this did surprise me, okay? So I had my hopes up a little too high, <laughs> as it turns out. So I was hoping for around five hours of runtime with this Demon Fire cell. But unfortunately, we got um, just a little bit over three hours, three hours, 15, um, which on the one hand, I can't be too bummed because it is a little bit longer than that 350 milliamp hour battery. And this claims to be protected. So those are two benefits to this battery. I just wish we did get up to at least four hours runtime. That would have been pretty cool, but three hours, 15, still not bad. Can't complain too much. And one thing I, I will say um, regarding the protected claim of this battery, I didn't notice something a bit different between the PK cell and this Demon Fire cell. So with the PK cell in the past and during this test, when it starts getting, you know, when it starts getting really low, the light output drops and then eventually it begins to flicker. And the light will flicker like that for maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe longer. I, I, I didn't remember how long, but it seems like 15, 20 minutes or so would be the top end. This battery did flicker as well at the end, but not nearly for as long, maybe five minutes. And then it, and then it stopped. So that might be the battery protection kicking in and not letting it drain to critically low levels. That is a guess. I don't know for sure what's going on, but I did notice that this battery didn't flicker when it got low, like the PK cell one did. So maybe that's a good sign. I'm hoping so. All right, so what is the overall conclusion after all of this? Um, basically, to take that into account, um, I was gonna tell you kind of what I paid for these batteries. Um, that way you can kind of work that into your calculation. These are just the prices I paid and you know prices fluctuate. So when you go to look at this, it may be a bit different, but basically for the PK cell batteries, I got two of them and this PK cell charger for I believe it was $15.99 or so. Um, I got both of these batteries on Amazon, by the way, but yeah, about $15.99 if I remember correctly for the PK cell and two batteries. Um, that does include the charger. These Demon Fire cells, um, I couldn't find just a couple of them on sale. Maybe I didn't look hard enough, but what I found was a six pack for $27 and for six batteries, that's pretty pricey, at least to me. Um, but they claim to be protected and have higher milliamp hour capacity. So I figure it was worth, you know, going out on a limb and trying these out. So yeah, if that helps you decide, um, I'm hoping, you know, it does, uh, if you're considering these. My personal conclusion from this is, <clears throat> if you already have 10 440s in whatever brand and variety uh, that work for you, I don't know that it's worth it to jump to this. Um, it really comes down to the protected bit um, because that is pretty cool if it's true. Um, I don't know, you know, any other way to tell if it is without using this battery for like the lifetime of the cell. I don't know how to tell other than, you know, that flicker, that was the only difference I really perceived um, initially here, this first time, this go, first go around. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna come down to whatever is worth it for you. Personally, um, had I known I wasn't gonna get, um, you know, five hour run times, maybe closer to three, a little over three, 315, which is what we saw versus three, I don't know if it's worth the jump for me. But like I said, the protected bit is kind of the wild card. Don't know for sure if that claim is backed up or not, um, I'm gonna take their word for it. But <clears throat> for the price and everything, if I already had en enough 10 on hand, 
I don't know that I would make the jump personally. But if you're getting your very first 10440 um, and you're just trying this out for the first time, if you're willing to pay the price, I mean, you might go for these because, you know, they claim to be protected and higher capacity. And on that note, I think I'm gonna call this one a wrap. Um, stay tuned, I'll probably gonna do another video uh, in a similar vein, except on the high setting instead of the low setting, just to see if we can beat that 20 minute runtime we saw earlier from the PK cell. See what this demon fire can do on high. Um, we'll test that out in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far. And in general, I just gotta say thank you to the whole community. I mean, everyone's been really supportive and great. Um, got some great comments and ideas from you all. And I just gotta tell you, I'm gonna get a little sappy for a second, not really, but basically I, I started this YouTube channel just as a way to post videos that I was gonna send to my brother and my friend. Basically, I, I didn't wanna send them actual video files. I just wanted the ability to send them a link, but Everyone on YouTube has been really cool and it's been a lot of fun and kind of become a new hobby for me. So I'm gonna try to keep it going. Uh, you guys have been amazing. Um, all the support and encouragement. I wanna give a special thank you to um, a few channels that have helped me out, um, just encouraging me and um, giving me a little bit of, of a boost. Um, first one I wanna thank is Smothered Chrome. That is a fantastic channel. If you like flashlights, torches you got to check out some other chrome's channel he pretty much covers all of them not just olight too a bunch of different brands a bunch of different tests really sweet channel i also want to thank uh surviving the daily great channel and that guy um i don't know who you are man but if you uh watch this video i just want to say thank you because you've given me a lot of encouragement and support um kind of getting me going so really do appreciate it and then the third and final channel i want to thank is a channel called collector's conquest and it's not a flashlight channel at all. It's uh, basically like collectibles, merchandise, um, figures. Uh, if you like collecting or you know someone who does, Collector's Conquest is a really cool channel. It's my buddy. And he has helped me just kind of learn the ins and outs of YouTube a little better. I have no clue what I'm doing, but uh, I really appreciate you, my friend. You know who you are, um, just for showing me the ropes a little bit and giving me pointers and ideas. So on that note, yeah, just a giant thank you. And lastly, just a little bit of news. Um, I recently became an affiliate with Olight. Heard from them not long ago. So stay tuned for some reviews. And if you want to support the channel, even above, you know, watching and uh, maybe leaving a like and a comment, maybe subscribing, you can use um, my affiliate links. I'll put them in the description. I also have a 10% discount code. Um, it, it does not work on sale items or uh, certain lights. I'll put the details down in the description, but yeah, if you're interested in picking up a light and you think of my channel and want to support me, I'd appreciate it. But mostly I just appreciate you watching and all the support I've gotten already. It's been cool. This community is great. And I just want to wish you all a great day. God bless and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.